Good morning, Johnson Learning Leopards. Today is Tuesday, March 15th. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for the moment of silence on level zero. All right, everybody, we have, first of all, happy Tuesday. Um, we do not have any birthdays today, and believe it or not, we do not have any birthdays for the rest of the week. How weird is that? <laughs> Only one birthday this week, and that was yesterday, and that was Miss Leslie in the cafeteria. But we do have some open-minded leopard leaders to share about. From Miss Branson's class, Ray Carreri has an open mind and growth mindset every day. She challenges herself to try new things, see new perspectives, and learn new ideas. She knows she can grow and learn and accomplish many amazing things when she opens her heart and herself up to new opportunities. She is such a bright spirit in our class, and we love to see her roar. From Ms. Irwin's class, Mackenzie Harvey is open-minded every day. She is flexible with her thinking and when working with others. In Ms. Coleman's class, uh, Rory Porpetage, we are so proud of Rory's open-mindedness to trying new morning routines. He arrived to school on the bus and on time every single day last week. His happiness and smile have been contagious. Rory, thank you for bringing so much joy to our classroom. Keep up the amazing work. You got this. And I think that's, yep, that's all we've got for today. So great job to all those open-minded leopard leaders. All right, please join me in reciting the Johnson Code of Conduct. As a Johnson learning leopard, I come to learn. I promise to roar by being respectful, open-minded, actively engaged, and responsible. I will always try my best. All right, news you can use. Our Women's History Month Hero of the Day is probably a little less familiar to us. Her name is Sarah Good, but she is no less awesome. So her parents were enslaved people, and so because of that, she also was born into slavery in 1850. But she became who they believe was the first African-American woman to be granted a patent by the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office for this super cool invention that I'm going to tell you about in a second. It's right here. So here's how it went down. So at the end of the Civil War, Sarah Good moved to Chicago and eventually became an entrepreneur, which basically means she owned her own business. So here's where it gets interesting. She and her husband, Archibald, who was a carpenter, meaning he made things out of wood, um, they owned this furniture store. Many of their customers lived in these super, super tiny apartments. They didn't have a lot of space for furniture, including beds. So... As a solution to this problem, Sarah Good invented a cabinet bed, which she described as a, quote, folding bed. Um, and when the bed was not being used, it could also serve as a roll-top desk, complete with compartments for stationery and other writing supplies. So again, Sarah Good, what a smart lady and very um, thinking outside of the box. She really helped solve a problem, which was awesome. All right, today's joke of the day comes from Henry Pillow in Miss Schaff's class. Knock, knock. Who's there? Butter, butter. Butter, butter who? Butter let me in, it's raining outside. Henry, thank you for sharing that. That was wonderful. Got a good little chuckle out of that one. And everybody, that is all I have for today. I hope you have a terrific Tuesday and think about how you can roar today here at Johnson. We love you so much and we wish you a wonderful Tuesday.